Hello and good morning or afternoon whenever you're uh, watching this video. Uh, Wednesday the 16th for you guys. I uh, hope that you guys feel that workout for Monday. That's a big one. Uh, very similar. However, oh my gosh, we've got to make some changes and that's okay. I don't expect you guys have all the tools. Uh, but if you are going to keep working on it at home, probably one of the things I would recommend getting is bands. Uh, bands you can wrap around your legs, blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about that more here soon. But the warm-up is going to be big again like Monday, a bigger warm-up. We're going to have our back coming your way and biceps. It is the opposite of Monday, okay? The warm-up. Well, the banded lateral step or shuffle, you know I'm going to make adjustments for it a little bit. We have a potential right side dominance around and then a left side dominant part, blah, blah, blah. If you do have a band, you got a band around your leg and you're gonna step to one side. And the stepping side is the working side. So if you do have a band, put the band around your legs. You should, if you have one, you know what to do with it. And you're gonna step down or step to your right 25 times. Maybe you can progressively move and maybe you can only step, okay? Either way, step to your right 25 times. If you don't have a band, that's okay. We're gonna simulate it with a lateral squat. You're gonna step, squat, step, squat. Right, see that? I'm stepping, squatting, or you can do your lateral lunge. Okay? You're gonna step to one side 25 times. The band is a little bit different. It's okay if you don't have one. 25 steps to the right. 20 sit-ups or toe touches. Then you'll do the opposite. You'll step to the left, again, either with the band moving, or you just have that step, or you have your stepping squat, you have your lateral lunge, okay? Step to the left 25 times. You'll then do 20 reverse crunches, slower, bigger leg motion abs. Three rounds. Hmm. 25 step to the right, 20 sit up or toe touch. 25 step to the left, 20 reverse crunch. Take your time. Times three, like Monday, a big warm up workout circuit, okay? Push pause, and the next thing you'll hear will be circuit A. Alrighty guys, circuit A. Hopefully you're warm and loose. That was a bigger warm up. But I know it's coming your way. I'm not too worried about what we needed to get done today. Pretty dominant warm up. Your lats pulling, you're laying on something, laying on a ball, laying on a bench. You've done lat pullovers before. Maybe you have a lat pull down device, maybe you don't. If you have something higher and a band, there is lat pull throughs. And again, I say this with love. If you're gonna work out at home more, I'm probably gonna send you a list of items that you could order on Amazon. You can get it quickly, and one would be a resistance band. But really it only comes into play with me if you have something to put it on like our oblique rotations, lat pull-throughs, but you can also use bands for lots of things. So if you have these tools, let me know. Lats are gonna be five sets of 12 to 15. Done the rep range of four. 12 to 15 rep range on your lats, whether you're laying on something or not. The good side or bad side is whether you get on or off the ground. Your right obliques are gonna be a pyramid, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10, right obliques only. You've got your standing left hand loaded right obliques. You have standing rotation on your right obliques. You have laying on the ground, double lateral leg lifts. Your right side is up. You have right side down hip dips. You have lay on your back, knees to your left, right side crunches. Your right obliques are 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. This circuit is not as big as Monday's. Slow it down a little bit. Time under tension. 
Lats, 5 sets of 12 to 15. Right obliques, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. Excuse me. Push pause, and the next thing you hear will be circuit B. All right, it's circuit B. Traps. You've done traps. You've got bars, kettlebells, dumbbells, trap rows, machines, cables, TRXs, trap rows. You're familiar with this verbiage. Trap rows. Five sets of 10 to 12. I just brought it down a tiny bit. I didn't want to have the same numbers. How boring would that be? I wanted to have similar numbers. Five sets of 10 to 12 trap rows. You have your left obliques, 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. And you're trying to replicate, right? Copy what you did on the right with the left. You've done these things before. Take your time. Trap rows, back muscles, left obliques. Push pause. And the next thing you hear is more if you have more. If you got to go, you got to go. And I'll see you Friday. Push pause if you want to hear more. All right, extra credit circuit C. Again, this was the opposite of Monday. You had your lats, traps, biceps. The other day you had your chest pushing, chest pulling, and triceps. Hmm, biceps. We're gonna be doing a wacky pyramid today and maybe you change some tools and we'll talk about quads or calves or both. Okay, final circuit. Biceps pulling, five, 15, 25, 30, <laughs> 20, and 10. Well, maybe you have a movement change. On the way up the pyramid, hammer curls, and on the way down the pyramid, open bodies, or vice versa. You can change your tools if you want to. You don't have to. 5, 15, 25, 30, 20, 10, only because I want to mess you up. Your quads or calves are always 20. You can do iso quads. You've done iso quads. You can do narrow squats. You did some the other day. You can do stationary forward lunges. And you can do lower, heavier step ups. Quad focused exercises. 20 or calves. You've got straight legged calves. You can change your feet with. You can stand on the edge of something. You've got your seated calves, whether you sit like this in a squat or you lean against the wall. You're either quads or calves, always 20. Final circuit, biceps, five, 15, 25, 30, 20, 10, and quads or calves, always 20. Slow big, steady. Again, pat yourself on the back. You're working hard. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday.